Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the peak sign and everyday sling and uh, we're going to unpack it and then we'll put some other gear back in. I've got a three-legged thing Rick, uh, travel tripod here so I can just take that out by undoing those um, quick release straps. Here you can really see the size of the gusset uh, that's incorporated into the bottom of the bag. So if you were to go through this opening here, you can really get lots of stuff in there. And there's little elasticated tidies there. Okay, so in this bag currently, what do I have? I have a um, Canon 60D with a 24 uh, to 105 f4. I have a uh, Fuji X Pro 1 with a 35mm f2 lens at that end. Under this divider here I have my Canon 50mm 1.4 and then in here I have my Acer 13 inch laptop. Obviously it will fit a MacBook Pro as well. Um, in this pocket you've got some options for organization. So you've got some WPS uh, which is uh, waterproof span material and places for your batteries and such like. Also that's a really good place for keys and things like that. Okay so what I'm going to do next so I'm going to rip this little bit of Velcro here after I've tightened this up. Okay, I'm going to pop that divider at the end there. The reason why I'm going to do that is I'm going to then put back in my 50mm. I'm going to flap that down. Obviously you could put something else on top if you wanted to. Um, I've got a pair of gloves here. So I could just pop those into that space. Okay, next what I've got is my Canon 6D with a 70 to 200 f4 IS lens. So in terms of getting this in, what I'm going to do is utilize the fact that the divider here can flap up slightly. So then again, got my very favorite woolly hat and go on top and that does up. The thing is that um, although the battery grips on there yes it's got a little bit of a bulge on it um, but what I would say is if you wear it slightly lower down your back that goes into the lumbar region of your back so actually you can wear it relatively comfortably. Obviously a lot of the people that would be looking at this bag would be looking at it for a mirrorless camera but what I wanted to show you was really that you can fit a full frame camera with a battery grip into the bag and do it up. Um, depending on what you want to carry, um, if you didn't need to carry quite so much in the actual main compartment, you can flap the pad to the side in here, in the front pocket, just to revisit that. What you could do is, one, you can fit a fuel pouch in. So that's got various different bits and pieces in. And then I've still got my 60D with the 2470. So I've got my gloves. And there you go. So that's the sling bag by um, Peak Design. In terms of the zipper on the end, just before I finish, you've got the security, um, really an anti-tamper, um, just to slow folks down if they were interested in getting into your bag. And by doing that, you just loop it together. There's a place for capture on the end here. And again, 
just using that to hook a camera straight onto the end of the bag. Okay, that's just a brief look around the uh, Everyday Sling by Peak Design. Any questions, ask them in the uh, comments below. This is the Ash Bag. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please do leave a thumbs up. There's uh, the option of an affiliate link too. Um, before I finish, just a quick shout out to uh, Cross Stitch Straps uh, for the strap on my iPhone, uh, on my Apple Watch, sorry. Uh, very generously given to me by John. Okay, um, have a good evening.